In this video I'm going to show you how I bench test a KE Jetronic airflow potentiometer on the bench without it even going near a car. And if you can see the scope screen, we can see the signal that is coming from that airflow meter as I deflect the flap. Of course you can also use a voltmeter and I will show that as well. Obviously it's not as nice as using a scope but not everyone has one. So I've got a bench power supply here set to 5 volts. I've also current limited it to 50 milliamps just in case I make a mistake. I don't want to destroy my airflow meter potentiometer although that's pretty unlikely. I've got my scope connected uh, to the top pin of the potentiometer. Ground is connected to the middle pin. The 5 volts from the power supply is connected to the bottom pin as is its ground connected to the middle as well. So that's all there is to it. Um, you can also do this test with the car with the key on, engine off so key on uh, in position 2, that 5 volts will be there. If you don't have that 5 volts then your ECU is either dead or your ECU is not getting power perhaps from a blown um, over voltage protection relay or it's got crack soldering. I have seen dead ECUs before particularly on cars of this age um, it can be dried out capacitors inside, I have seen that on a 1988 uh, 126 anyway I've seen that a couple times now the 5 volt rail internally on the ECU was basically dead shorted from dodgy old capacitors these uh, more modern M104 980 ECUs don't seem to have that issue so for those of you that don't have a scope, you can of course do this measurement with a handheld uh, multimeter. Now this airflow meter is massively out of adjustment. I have replaced this potentiometer but it's not been adjusted yet, that's why I've left the caps off. And I've got the uh, cap covers there. Uh, that cannot be done until I've got a running engine, so I'll calibrate that once the red engine is in the car and running. So you shouldn't see 1.6 volts with the thing closed. That's obviously massively out of adjustment, as I mentioned. And if you're into 124s, 126s, anything that has KE Jetronic, uh, and you wish to remain with that original uh, injection system, you really need to have a meter that has the percent scale, which is duty cycle. Now this piece of shit uh, doesn't have the choice to select off or on time. Uh, MB refers to the duty cycle as the off time, which is the complete opposite of what most multimeters will display. So to actually get the off duty cycle, you actually need to connect the polarity of this meter in reverse. So the positive lead has to go to the ground terminal in that round diagnostic socket um, in the side of the engine bay. Otherwise, you're getting the inverse uh, reading to what you should be. Uh, and that might cause confusion for people trying to do diagnostics um, and trying to get the error code out of the uh, ECU. They are very basic, they only have a handful of errors. Um, what I do to find out if it's connected the right way, there is a specific error that you'll get with key on um, engine off when the coolant temperature is below uh, whatever the normal operating temperature is. If it's cold, it always gives the same error and that's what you want to see. You don't actually get anything else um, until that coolant is above a certain temperature. That's the first thing it's going to display as an error with the engine off. And I don't remember what it is off the top of my head, but that's not the point of this video. But um, anyway, with the meter, you can see it cleanly sweeps through its range of moment, uh, motion 
up to just under 5 volts. What you do not want to see is it jumping around all over the place. Um, if you're moving it smoothly and slowly, it should not be going ballistic jumping around. Uh, if it is, then that potentiometer is worn. Um, that's the number one problem you have with these potentiometers. The wipers end up eating through the uh, tracks and you get erroneous readings and the ECU just goes ballistic. So that's what causes the jerky acceleration um, and dead spots. And because I know someone is going to ask, I do have a printout of the duty cycle readings that refer to specific engines on the 104 980. And I'm going to show how this piece of shit actually reports the on duty cycle versus the off. I shouldn't really call it a piece of shit, but it is cheap rubbish. Uh, and I guess most of the time people do want the on duty cycle. MB just had to be different and make their readings referring to the off time. So this is what I was referring to before on the 104 980 on a happy system if the coolant temperature is not up to uh, operating levels you should get 30% duty cycle. That's key on engine off. And as you can see I'm getting 30% and that's with the polarity reversed at the diagnostic socket. Hence showing that my meter displays on time, not off time. So if I had the um, probes the other way around, as you can see here, I would get the incorrect reading of around 70%. And that's just a crock. So, when the engine is uh, at operating temperature, it should be fluctuating around 50%. And then once it's shut down, you do the key on engine off, and 50% is what you want to see. And that's indicating all input signals are in order. So that gives this thing a big fat tick. Just be aware that not all versions of KJET have diagnostics like this.